This time it's the Haya Toys Exquisite Mini Robocop 2 figure. Uh, I know we've been kind of maybe a little hard on Haya Toys in the past, but this is a great little figure. <laughs> it's really well done. It's a $20 price point, um, and it is just a solid, you know, little bigger, maybe a four inch action figure, right? I one thing I really like about this uh, Hyatt Toys Robocop is the uh, new packaging here. Uh, Hyatt Toys typically come in a little kind of a compact box. This is a taller window box that, you know, you can take this one out and you have a, like a classic three and three quarters card there, right? From you know, a kind of a vintage feel to it, you know, reaction, doing Kenner, you know, kind of thing. It's it's nice. It kind of drops the ball a little bit on the back, like there could be a little more information. Um, but again, it's nice. I've opened it, you know, to get the um, figure out, but this is not resealable. So once you cut this open, it is open, okay? I don't know what the exact scale is. But let me go through some of this articulation. Um, so first of all, it has a base, which it can fall off of, but it can stand on its own. It's got this cool luminescent paint job, which shimmers a bit depending on how you look at it. It's nice. Heads on a ball joint, does all you need it to. Shoulder comes out, uh, does this a little bit. Elbow joint, doesn't seem to be a swivel on the elbow, but that's fine. Ball jointed wrist. You get this cool ball jointed torso, but then you also have a waist joint down here at the legs. It's nice and tight, kind of comes, can splay out, come up, go back, that's fine. Nice, nice enough knee, nothing special there. But that is special is working pistons on a tiny little figure, that's fun. And then you have your rocker and your, you know, hinge. It's pretty great. I'm actually really happy with it. Uh, it's got a couple of, it's got one set of extra hands and they're basically two different hands for this replacement here. And you have a trigger hand and he could, does of course come with a gun. Uh, does not fit in any compartments here like the, uh, character did although you know it's been so long since it's been Robocop 2 I have no idea if he still did that uh, so that's that's a you know nice little feature you get the gun and you also get a, a different hand which is just sort of a regular holding hand so there's no extended trigger finger like that but he's used that one holds this cool like brain case module Again, I know you guys are gonna yell at me. I haven't seen the movie in so long. I have no idea what this is for. I forget, but it's a brain in a jar and he can hold it and go, is that my brain? So, I mean, it's a nice set. You get the base, the brain, two extra hands, the gun, and like a little stand connector. Off of 20 bucks for an import from overseas. It's not bad. The connector here is used so if you um, have another base, you can put it underneath there and just attach it like that so you can tie them together. This is, looks like a rail track. And, you know, it does have holes on the feet. Uh, kind of, you know, it'll stand. That's fine. It feels like it's tight when you first do it. But I think it works itself out over time, especially if you're posing it. So just keep that in mind. Over, I mean, the stand generally is great, but you know, if you're holding it upside down, it might come out. You know. Yeah. So quick little review: Hi Toys, Robocop Two, Robocop, uh, Dead or Alive. He's coming home with you. Uh, this was provided as a sample from Hi Toys. Um, you can get them on Amazon and. Uh, wherever Hyatt Toys products are sold. We got a bunch of these in the mail, so you might see a few of these reviews kicking around soon. Not necessarily Robocop, there's some other ones. Uh, so yeah, uh, keep an eye out. Um, and this is Josh from Collection DX. See you next time.